Welcome back, welcome back everybody. Thank you for clicking on the video. Today, we are doing a little bit more some unboxings. We're jumping back into Force of Will with one of the OG sets, the Twilight Wanderer. Now, you know, there's always nice chase pieces to go for here, especially like the Alice Uber Rare and stuff. But uh, you know what? I'm gonna put all my preconceived notions aside. I'm not gonna expect anything from this box. I'm just gonna enjoy going through a classic awesome set with some really awesome cards and hopefully you guys enjoy too and if you do make sure to subscribe i really appreciate it we do all kinds of unboxings on the channel openings you name it from toy stuff nerdy stuff i like force of will pokemon we got all the stuff on here just take a look at the wall behind me if you like any of the things you see make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe and join us for the future videos. But yeah, it's just a quick opening. You guys already know what's up with Twilight Wanderer if you're familiar with Force of Will. If you're not familiar with Force of Will, it's an awesome TCG card game, really good mechanics, and some amazing cards, card stock, card artwork. It's awesome. You open one of these boxes and you get hooked. I went through one of these back many years ago and I ended up getting every single set available to purchase from the whole history compendium of Force of Will. So this is one of the old school sets, but it's a fun one and it's a goodie. So let's a crack into it. Yeah, let's crack into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twilight Wanderer, let's get into it. Open up this box. This came from a pre-release kit. That's why it's already not sealed because all the pre-release kit ones just come uh, unplastic wrapped if you're wondering why. But we got all our nice packs here untouched. So let's pull some out. Let's get started. Let's see what we can find. No face cam today because uh, I'm on a time crunch. So that always adds a lot to the whole editing schedule. So we're just gonna do this and go through the awesome cards of this set. Let's take a look. It's been a while since I've done some Twilight. So we've got our glorious castle town and we got fire magic stone. Our first one is bang straight away. Foil stamped. Yeah, there's stamped foil cards in these sets. All you newcomers looking awesome. Excalibur, the spirits god sword. Nice pull. First of many of these foiled stamp. They're, they're so awesome in this set. Next one. Let's see what we can find. I would... Uh, Love, what would I love from this set? Well, I said I was going to put all my notions beside me here and just enjoy it. So you know what? I'm not even going to say what I would like. Obviously, there's some classic hits, but we got Dark Machinima, classic one there. And yo, already, bang, our first J-Ruler, and it's a foil stamped. Uh, it can't get better than that, man. That is fantastic. Refrain, <laughs> Child of Convergence. In the flip side, Child of Potential, our first J-Ruler out of two, I believe, that come in each box. So this is a mighty fine good hit, especially when it's a nice stamped. Now, out of the J-Rulers for foiled stamped, I, I believe you only get one foiled stamp per box, or other ones should just be a normal um, foil. If we get two, that'd be amazing, because there are better J-Rulers to get stamps on. But this is a classic card. This one got banned back in the day. Um, so it's, a, it's kind of a legendary, a lot of history with this card for the meta that went on at the time. Next up, we're doing good. We're already on to a J Ruler in the second pack, which is kind of crazy. Um, but you know, that's how it goes. These boxes are weird and unpredictable. We got Guinevere, Guinevere, the Jealous Queen. And we've got another foil stamped. All right, if Tang, we're three for three right now on the Unyielding Flames Memoria. Pretty sick. And again, we shall go through and take a look at our mouse and our weird sprites and our weird demons. Gotta love these cards, man. Dove card, Dark Arla. And there was our rare. That is Overlord's Baptism. Another classic. All right, our first just non-stamp, just a regular foil. But all the foils look sweet. This is just a common. Next up, let's do it. All right, we've got our crazy robots, our light sprite, Galahad. We've got Revelation Dystopia rare, or... Recollection, Recollection Dystopia. And our other one here is Light Sprite. Look at that Light Sprite foil, very nice. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, let's uh, go into the next pack. Uh, that's such a cool card, that first card. I forget the name of it, but it looks dope. All the cool cards and artwork, fairies, rare. There it is, Beta Phoenix Wings, Darkness Magic Stone. And, oh, one of my favorites in a foiled stamp. It's Ambredal or Umbrali or the Unfathomable. Lovecraft vibes. Yeah, these early sets had some Lovecraft vibes and they are sick. Oh my gosh. Yes, I love getting this guy in a foiled stamp. He looks so dope. We are uh, on our way to having a really good box, I think, because so far we're doing excellent. 
with our nice little foil hits, I think. Beast Queen, Counter-Tech, good one to get in a nice stamped, I believe. Change the World Orb of Illusion. Look at how beautiful that is. Regalia. Oh, 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 there's one more behind it. Forgot about that mass-produced landmine, dude. Just a common. I forgot you can get, like, those double-up rares sometimes. You'll get, like, the rare and then another rare and then another foil. It's, it's weird. It's weird. All right, Dance of the Shadow. Lancelot is our rare. Darkness Magic Stone in a foil. Dope-looking, simple Darkness Magic Stone, but classic. And then we got Lancelot foil. Look at that. Lancelot's not worth too much. If you guys don't see prices up on screen, it's because the value is so low. It's just not even worth putting it up there, honestly. I'm just going to be showing you guys what the nice good cards are priced at. But we got a Sacred Beast Memoria. Memoria cards can be decent sometimes, but this is a non-foil. Behind it, we got Young Knight of Gloria Common. It's only the foils that really have value in these older sets. So that's what we want to be looking at. Almost skipped right to the back because I was used to it. Because I just finished filming another very cool video. Shadow Princess of Purity for our rare. Uh, Phoenix Flame of the World, super rare. And bang, Hera, Goddess of Jealousy, rare in a foiled stamped. Really, really dope looking. Wow, that is awesome. I just finished filming New Dawn Rises. I'm going nuts trying to find the Anubis Secret Rare. So if you guys want to look for that one and see what we can find and see if we finally, finally find the Anubis Rare, you're going to want to stay tuned, unless it's already out. I don't actually know how I'm going to order these. There's uh, Joanne D'Arc, Shadow Princess of Purity again. There we go, Shadows Memoria Rare. And then Maritime Lookout Common Foil. Back at it. Let's see it. And here we go. We got, oh, what was this card called? This is the one I was talking about. Rewriting Laws. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. All right. We got Dragons. We got Spirit of Yadrazil. Holy Ground is actually our rare. But we also got Fairies Memoria. Pretty classic. With Flash Demon Sword Common. Next up, what shall we find? Now, we are pulling from the right-hand side and traditionally... With my luck, uh, these packs and such, the right-hand side of the box usually is the least lucky. Ruler's Memoria, good one to get in a nice stamped version. And usually, uh, just see, see, common foil, not good, not good right side. Usually, the left side is where we want to be at. Gives us great hits, I promise. And this is the left side stack, so let's see if uh, what I'm saying holds true. Because, you know, sometimes it doesn't, but I swear... Lucky left for me all day long. That's what I always go by. And we got Dark Resort, the Dying Shadow for a rare. Little Match Girl, classic card, super rare. And we've got Sane Hatter, uncommon. It's okay. They don't all have to be bangers. Not all of the Lucky Left has to be bangers. But, you know, we will get a banger from the Lucky Left. I promise, I promise. We got Eraser of the Wind. The least favorite cards are these stupid eagles. But we did get a Fairies Memoria rare in a foil, very nice. Behind it, just in uncommon foil. Let's go, let's see what we got in this pack. We got a Sprite, Demon, Refrain, and we've got Invasion Party, Holy Grail, Perseville, great card, love that artwork. Oh man, every time I see it, that is our rare. And then we got Wind Magic Stone Foil with a Vivian Lady of the Lake, super rare, very sharp looking card. All right, next up, let's see what we got in this one. More Sprites, Bubbles, Drop of Yadrazo, Dance of Shadows again, Lancelot, Rare, and Water Magic Stone Foil. I love these old sets because they always guarantee you get one of each of the Magic Stones in a foil, which is sweet. There we go. There's the Unfathomable again, but just in a normal foil in this one. No stamp, but that's all right. He's a good one. He's a good one. Let's keep going, shall we? We got Sendback, Pride Knight, whatever. Oh, what, what, what? We're missing stuff. Another Shadow Dude, Beast Queen's Guardian. Wall of Ideas, rare is the Golden Hind, Fire Magic Stone, Little Match Girl on fire with that foiling bang, looking sharp. Used to be worth something, not so much anymore, wish it still was, it's definitely a dope card. On to a good hit, I believe, I believe, I believe. We got some bondage going on in those cards, if you didn't spot that. Gwen, Knight of the Sun, rare, and we've got another rare, Schrodinger, Fallen, Black Cat, very nice. What's behind it? Perseville, Seeker of the Holy Grail, in a foil. Now, I believe the best uh, value for her buck is the stamped, but look at that foiling on her. She looks great. Next, let's see it. This guy looks dope. I always, like, scan over him because he's a common, but he's got some really nice artwork. There's our rare, Barrier Flame. Uh, there we go, Demon Sword Rare Regalia, classic band card too, and Golden Hin. Not that great, but it is a rare. Next up, 
let's see it. We've got Sprite, Sprite, Dragon, Knight, and there's our Bondage Girl right there. Bang, look at that. Wow, what's going on? I don't know. I don't know the lore. Holy Ground of the Four Sacred Beasts, rare. And then we got Dark Fire, Shadow Princess of Ebony, super rare, dope. And bang, look at that. Another foil stamp, the Beat of the Phoenix Wings. Not my favorite, but you know what? It's a foil stampy boy. Gotta love it. Next up, let's get this one open. We got a drag or a wyvern. Uh, it wasn't a dragon, it was a wyvern. Sorry, I don't know what the big difference is between those two. Someone tell me the difference between a wyvern and a dragon. We got Era as our Jealousy Queen Rare, Excalibur, Spirit's God Sword, and then we got Barrier Flame Rare Normal Foil. All right, this is back to the right side now. We had a little bit left in the right side, but after this, we're done with it. So let's see if it really holds true here. We do have a few packs left on the left side as well, but. You know, I kind of split it up. Unyielding, Flames Memoria Rare, and we got a Water Sprite Common, classic card. Another one, let's see it. Oh, oh, this one's stuck. What are you hiding, huh? Light Sprite, Shadow, Yudrazil, send back. We've got Goddess of Passion Rare, Light Magic Stone, and Fruit of Yudrazil, Common. Next up, let's see what we got in this one. So far, no bangers in the right side, really. Uh, but we've got a Dark Machinima, Gliding Shadow, with a Vivian Lady of the Lake into Elaine the Fairy Uncommon. Bang, bada boom, let's see it here. We got bang, 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 Mad Dabber, Mad Dabber? <laughs> that was our rare Elizabeth Shadow Princess of Blood. And then, ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. The Beast Queen's counterattacked, foil stamped, looking sharp in this nice full art. Oh man, that's a good one. I, the price might have lowered on this one a little bit, but it is a classic one to find, really good. All right, that one wasn't bad for the right side, okay? So I think left side needs to redeem us a little bit better, uh, but we shall see. We haven't pulled that second J ruler yet. Barrier of Shadows, Arthur, Pendragon, and Dark Arla, the Shadow Wing Uncommon. Let's see it, last one from the right hand side. Uh, will we escape the right side uh, with bad luck, or will we get some redemption from the right side? Leviathan, first of, the, first of the sea, and yeah, it's just a September hair foil uncommon, so right side didn't do very good, very good overall. So let's go to the middle, and then we'll finish off with the left. The middle stack. We've only got a few more in this one, so let's cruise through it, see what we can get in here, and then on to the lucky, lucky left side. Let's see what we got. And this one, Gawain, Knight of the Sun. And there's our Light Magic Stone Foil. And Drop of Yudrazel, nothing there. Boom, middle. Middle hit, let's go. Come on, let's see it. We usually got a J Ruler on like the top of the box and one hiding at the bottom of the box. So let's see. That's our Rare Wind Magic Stone. And we got a Foil Stamp Shadow Princess of Blood. Crazy looking girl, Elizabeth. Oh man, I don't like your artwork very much on this one. It's kind of weird and awkward, but Hey, it's not a terrible foil stamped. Could be worse. Let's see it. All right, we got a couple more for the middle. We got the bondage going on in there and we've got, got us a jealousy rare. Super rare is the unfathomable again. We've gotten them in every version available to us. We got them in normal, the foil and the foil stamped. So I think we've seen enough of him now, but we just got a roar uh, uncommon foil on the end. So let's do this one. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We've got a Sprite, a Dragon, another Sprite. Oh, we're showing the back. Don't show that yet, Barrier Flame. Ooh, there's our next J Ruler. We got Alice, Fairy Queen, very, very sharp. Gotta love Alice. Uh, just a Shadow Warrior behind it. Let's flip over Alice, Girl of the Lake. And there it is, Alice, Fairy Queen. This one in a foiled stamp, definitely better to find, but it's still a dope J Ruler. That's awesome. Okay, it could be possible that we still could find another good hit. Now we're out of J Rulers, but there's still some dope super rares in here that we might be able to pull off. So Dark uh, Prince, Dark Faria? Dark Faria, Shadow Princess of Ebony, a classic. Look at her, she's a good one too. Her price has actually gone up. Three more packs from the lucky left side. So we'll go right to left as we do. Let's see it. Oh, what do we got? We got the little mad rabbit hair dude, all the Mad Hatter stuff going on. We've got Saint Hatter, there he is, Dark Rezard. We got Excalibur the God Sword, and we got Dark Machinima Gliding Shadow Rare. Not too crazy on that one, but two more. So let's go. First up with this middle one, let's see him. Anything good hiding in here? Let's find out. We got our little eagle, we got Change the World. 
And we've got Shadow Princess of Purity as a nice rare. All right, I think we need to get one more foil, uh, stamp foil, I should say, from this last pack. I'm really crossing my fingers so we can find one more. So let's see what we can do here. Let's go through it. We've got Pride of Knights. We got Elaine the Fairy, Invasion Party, Perseval as our rare seeker. Fire Magic Stone, that's our last one. Bang and. Oh, Beast Queen's counterattack in a foil, but not a stamped. All right, that's not bad, though. That's not bad. Best pulls of the day, in my opinion, have got to be a couple of these Memorias on Yielding Flames Memoria. Then we got the Fairies Memoria. Again, stamps would be better on these, but these might have a buck or two. We'll see. Uh, of course, we got Unfathomable. He's a good hit to get in the stamped, so that's always nice. And then we got Beast Queen's counterattack. Good, good foil stamped hit. I like it. Then we got our classic J Rulers. We got the Alice Fairy Queen. And then we've got the Childhood Convergence Refrain and the Reflect, a decent foil stamp J Ruler. That's very nice. That's it for the Twilight Wanderer. Now I do have more of these boxes. So if you want to see more of this set and you liked what you saw, again, leave a comment down below, leave a like and subscribe. It lets me know you guys have interest in what I've been opening and I'll open more. Appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Look for more content coming soon and we'll see you in the next one.